Hi, I'm Paul and in today's video, I'll show you how to use an AI agent within Knowledge Studio using Obsidian AI tools. First, I'll explain what the Knowledge Studio is and then walk you through practical examples of how you can integrate this powerful tool into your Obsidian Vault. If you often find yourself reusing the same AI prompts in Obsidian and wish you had a smarter assistant, this video is for you. Join me as we dive into the possibilities of the Obsidian AI tools Knowledge Studio. Obsidian AI Tools Knowledge Studio Overview. In today's video, we're going to be exploring Obsidian AI Tools Knowledge Studio. This is for Obsidian AI Tools subscribers primarily, but if you're not subscribed, I encourage you to follow along with the video as you might find something useful that you can use in your Obsidian Vault. So Obsidian AI Tools Knowledge Studio can be broken down into three key components. And those are agents, knowledge, and prompts. So an agent is defined by you through a system prompt. So this is giving your AI agent a role, telling him what he is going to help you with. So an example could be you're an Obsidian assistant. When I ask you a question, it will be related to Obsidian. Be sure to output responses in Markdown. So our agent knows that it's an Obsidian assistant and anything I ask it is going to be related to Obsidian. So don't need to specify that after my prompts. The next component is knowledge. So knowledge is where you train your AI agent. So think of this like Obsidian templates, markdown notes, or PDFs. Now, although these are private to you, always avoid uploading any sensitive or personal information when using cloud services. So the third component is prompts and examples of prompts could be improve this text, convert these YAML properties, list the key takeaways, summarize the best points or improve this information. And these are simply triggered with a trailing forward slash. By using this feature inside of Obsidian AI tools, we can better distill our Obsidian notes, which will also allow us to express easier. My Knowledge Studio setup. So let's head over to chat.obsidianaitools and we're going to sign in with our Obsidian AI tools subscription. If you don't have a subscription, feel free to follow along. Once I'm signed into my account, I go up to the left and click the left pane, then I'm going to left click Knowledge Studio. I can left click the hamburger left pane to collapse. You'll notice here I have the Obsidian Markdown Assistant. So if I click on the pencil here, you can see that the name of my agent is Obsidian Markdown Assistant. My base model is Claude for Sonnet, but I could choose any model here from my Obsidian AI tools. So if I wanted it to be 3.7 or O1 Mini, DeepSeek, Gemini 2.5, I've got a whole bunch of different models to choose from. The visibility is private, so I'm not sharing this with anyone. Then I've defined my agent under the system prompt. So you're an Obsidian assistant. When I ask you a question, it will be related to Obsidian. Be sure to output responses in Markdown. So you could probably remove that. Be sure to output in Markdown. I think you're an Obsidian Assistant. When I ask you a question, it will be related to Obsidian is enough. Now I can put some prompt suggestions here. So if I click, then I can add the prompts that I use the most. But for now, I'm just going to leave it blank. I could also add knowledge. But if I add knowledge into my agent, then it's always going to look in the knowledge. So I want to have my knowledge accessible when I tell my agent to access it, not look at it all the time. Then I've got my capabilities and then I hit save and update. I could also customize the image here. So now I have my agent and I can turn it on or off. Let's jump into the knowledge tab. So in the knowledge tab, I have a collection called templates. So if I left click inside here, I have a author note template as a markdown file. And if I click that, it opens and shows me my author note template. If I wanted to add more, then I can simply hit the plus and upload the file to add more templates. I could also sync it with a directory. If I select update file, 
then what I can do is go down to my toolkit, down to my templates, and I could put all my templates in there or select the templates that I want to add. So I might put my ideas template in there and it will go and add my ideas template. So now if I want to reference this with my agent, my agent knows about my ideas template. We'll head over to the prompts tab. And in here I have eight prompts. So you can see I've got one here, convert to author template, improve this text, key takeaways, improve this concept, convert to Obsidian Markdown. So we'll click in this one to have a look by selecting the pencil. And we can see here we've got the title, which is convert to Obsidian Markdown. And there's our slash command there. So whenever we want to convert to Obsidian Markdown, we just hit the slash. And here's our prompt here, which is convert into Obsidian Markdown. And I'll show you how to do that in the next section of the video. AI agent example one. So here we are inside of Obsidian and we're going to use our Obsidian Markdown assistant to improve the author note for Scott Adams here on the right hand side. So usually I have my author notes like I do for Alden Mills on the left hand side. So I have a block of YAML properties at the top with the date added tags, books, author and topics. Then I have a data view query with the cover, the book name and the topics. So I want to do the same for Scott, but I don't want to manually convert all of this into these details here, even though it wouldn't take me very long to do that. I'm going to harness my Obsidian Markdown Assistant to do it. So I'll open up Obsidian AI tools with the commander shortcut. Then I'm going to go up to the top and select my Obsidian Markdown Assistant. I'll click inside the prompt field and I'm going to hit the forward slash command. That's gonna query all my prompts in my Obsidian AI tools. And I wanna choose the first one up the top here, which is convert to author template. And that's going to insert my prompt. Can you convert the text below into a format similar to my author template? Ensure the results markdown format is exactly like the author template. All I need to do is jump into source mode and copy the three lines here. Come back into my markdown assistant and paste that information. Then I'm gonna hit send. It already knows about my author note template markdown file as it's added into my knowledge. So I should get an output similar to Aiden Mills on the left hand side, which I have. If we have a look at the markdown, we can see it's got date added tags, books, author and topics, which matches Alden Mills. It's missing a few tags. So let's say, can you add the missing tags? And that could also be a slash prompt as well. So now it's going to go add the missing tags, which in this case is author, goals, habits and productivity. So now we have those tags. I also want to make sure that topics is on a individual line for each result. And I also want to make sure it's in quotation marks. So can you add quotation marks to all my links? Question mark. Can you also ensure they are on a new line? So there's a couple more prompts that I could add to my prompts if I didn't want to write these in each time. So let's just see what this does. So now we have our tags on an individual lines in quotation. We have our books as well. The only thing we don't have is Scott Adams isn't a link with quotations. So we need to also fix that up as well. Now that's only one fix, so I could just copy that, come into here, delete meta details and paste. And then I need to close my data view query with three backticks. So you can see now that I've got a cover, the book name with a link to the book, which match the topics inside my book note. I no longer need these three lines here, so I could delete those. So the only other improvement would be that I wanna have a link to Scott Adams. So I'd need to go into my source code and put quotation double square brackets, Scott Adams, and then close it with quotations so that now I've got a link to Scott Adams. So that would be the only change. So that's one example of using the Obsidian Markdown Assistant. Let's look at a couple more examples. AI agent example two. 
So we'll close this book and we'll stay with Scott Adams here. So we'll select the book here. And then we've got some best ideas from Scott that we can explore. So let's bring up this first one. So I've got a nice little quote here and I want to use my Obsidian Markdown Assistant to improve it. So what I can do is I can open up my Obsidian AI tools. Then I'm going to highlight and copy the quote. Come into my Markdown Assistant, hit the forward slash. But this time I want to type in improve. And I'm going to choose improve this text. And that's going to add the prompt, can this text be improved in any way? I'm just going to paste that quote in. So I've been given a revised version there. In my 20s, I felt completely lost. I wanted to become a cartoonist and write books, but I didn't know a single person who could show me the path forward. Meanwhile, it seemed like everyone else had mentors, family connections, or insider knowledge guiding their careers. I quite like what this is saying. If we have a look over here on my note, it's very similar. This one seems a little bit more personal and we can see the key changes made. It's a stronger opening, better flow, more confident language, value proposition in the final paragraph, which is now I want to be a mentor I never had. This book presents a proven template for success that works across virtually any field. I'm going to go convert to Obsidian Markdown quote, and I'm going to paste that new revised version in. And then I'm going to copy that, come into here and paste. And now I have my new Obsidian Markdown Assistant quote, AI Agent Example 3. Let's look at a couple more examples. I have a Blinkist literature note here called Emotional Ignorance by Dean Burnett. I've made a few highlights on each Blink. I'm going to use my Obsidian Markdown Assistant to help me. So I'm going to come up and select Open Obsidian AI Tools. I've set my Obsidian Markdown Assistant as the default. Then I'm going to grab my first Blink here. I'm going to hit my slash command. I'm going to type in sum and grab my prompt, summarize the best points from this information, paste in my blink, hit enter. Then I have my key insights on emotions and the human experience. I could always just add it to the bottom of my literature note here, or I could hit my quick add command, new note. We're going to call this one key insights on emotions and the human experience, hit OK. Then we're just going to go down and copy and we'll just paste that in. This is a fleeting note based on this literature note. We've got our key insights there, so we can take that out. We can probably take this out too. And then we just go in and start tidying up our note. If we don't like heading twos, we can make them heading threes and reformat how we like it. We could also put that down here in our original literature note and have a link to it and that gives us the key insights that way we don't overload our literature note with the key insights let's look at the next blink down the page so we have chapter one here more than a feeling i've highlighted a few key points from the blink that i liked but what i want to do is use my obsidian markdown assistant so i'm going to highlight and copy open up my Obsidian Markdown Assistant, select a new note, and this time I'm going to use my slash command, type in key. I'm going to select my prompt, what are the key takeaways here? Hit enter, paste in my blink. I might even add, be sure to consider my highlights, enter. So then I have a new key takeaways for the nature of emotions. I can go create a new note now based on my Markdown Assistant. So I could copy this as my title, come down to my quick add, select new note, paste in the key takeaways, take out the colon, select OK. And then all I need to do from there is copy, paste, and go take out anything that I don't like and start distilling the note from there. And it could be something as simple as changing the headings because I like 
heading three blue headings, not yellow headings, bold, and anything that I didn't agree with or that I wanted to change, I could go change. The Knowledge Studio is a powerful tool for creating AI agents, adding knowledge and customizing AI prompts right inside Obsidian. If you found this guide helpful, please consider leaving a comment below. If you're already working with Knowledge Studio, I'd love to hear about your experiences. Share your tips and favorite use cases in the comments. I'm always interested to learn from the community. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.